So we need ingredients that Parky want to try and Māori want to eat. There's heaps of options. Look, tree mushrooms, modern bird, kune kune, um, pickle pickle, fern root. Have you tried that? And does it taste good? Bored for six days in a mud and stew, anything does. Sweet! At least it'll look authentic on the menu. Finally got her to sleep. Well, you'd probably say I was crazy if I said how lucky I think you guys are. And when I get four hours continuous sleep, that is lucky. Have you had anything to eat? No, no, I haven't gotten around to it yet. How about I make you something? I'm too weak to refuse. Just some toast, thank you. Is it really that bad? Looking after a baby, I mean? Um, yes and no. Aisha? Yeah, I mean, there are these really cool moments when Nash does something cute, but the rest is just a blur of nappies and cleaning and feeding. <laughs> so not much time to yourself, eh? Nope. Hey, would you like a free day spa? Yeah. How come? Well, Norman gave me this voucher when Angie Maria was born, and it's almost expired, you know. I'll never get time to use it. Uh, wrong. You see, I don't start work until late today, so how about I pay sit today? You'd like to. I would love to. Go on, Chef. Well, I'll write you a list then. Yes. Okay, you tell me exactly what to do, and I promise I'll do it. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. <laughs> Oh, but you're supposed to sleep now. Uh, shh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Mum's not too far away. She's just going to be another... But, oh, six hours. Uh, uh, okay, uh, Nancy. Mm, right, that's fine. Okay, well, what does that mean? Um, lead, yes, wings, yes. Nappy, yes, warm enough. Not, not too warm. No, you're fine. Ah, come on. Shh. Shh. It's all right. Oh, tell me what to do. Gorgeous. Mm. Shh. Baba, please be happy. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Got him the really big burp out. <laughs> Boy, did she let it rip. <laughs> you know, she just drank some more. Isn't she beautiful? Both are. Hey. Sorry, I panicked. I'm really pleased you called. Hey, look. He's my <laughs> You still like me? all I want. Not the bar, not huge piles of money, just this. Just you and me and little brother. Hey. Oh, try this. Mmm. Hi. Okay, here's Shane. Hey, Spa. Just needed a break, eh? Gotta give a girl what she needs. Oh, we don't know what it is, but it sure smells good. Hey. Come and learn your heritage, girl. Pass. Truth, mate. My heritage is meat pies and a cold tinny. Yeah, three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, look. He's smiling. <laughs> she wasn't too much of a hassle, was she? No, not when I had some help. Where the, where the, where the, where the, where I wish Norman were alive. So I wish he could have had the baby that he wanted just to feel this. Yeah, he wanted a kid pretty bad, eh? He sure did. So, uh, you and uh, Lee May still banging heads? Yeah. I don't want to. We don't want to. We might still be able to talk around. <gasps> Did you hear that? Maybe we can. So what's the deal why this meeting? Well, we would like a second attempt to get pregnant using Norman's sperm. Considering the disagreement between us, I've asked the fertility clinic to arrange a meeting with the ethics committee to pass a decision on whether I can or cannot go ahead. You will be contacted so you can brief a doctor to represent you. Haven't you done enough to me? Norman wanted us enough. to... Enough! You don't have the right to use his name. I was his partner. Then you would know having a baby fulfills his deepest wish, Lee May. If all you cared about was the baby, you could find another donor, but no. It has to be Norman's. Why? Because you stand to get half the bar. Lee May, I promise that this is only about us having a child and fulfilling Norman's wishes. And I thought you were the one starting to see some sense. 
honestly, we do not want this to hurt you. And the bar is neither here nor there. This is about bringing a new life into the world. Get out! Tell us whatever it is on the phone. Because this has to be face to face. I want you to sign a contract. What sort of contract? This one. This is about your style, right? Lee, hey, mate, if this is just you having a dig at me, it's for real. I've already signed it. I will agree to you having the RUT on one condition. Which is? You don't care about money or the bar, right? So here's the deal I won't oppose you at the Ethics Committee. All you need to do is sign away all rights to the bar here. Do you mean it? Ball's in your court. Sign this and you get what you say you really want. I'm sorry, Lee May, but I can't sign that. I knew it. Why not? Because it's not right, baby, that's why. This is not what Norman wanted. Not what you want, you mean. Who cares about the bar? This means that we can have a baby. Sweetie, Norman and I signed a contract together on good faith. He wanted us to have a child by him, and he wanted that child to be supported. That's why the bar is guaranteed income to help us support that child. But we don't need it. I'm earning enough, and then you can get a job later on. I'm sorry, but no, this... If Norman were here, he would understand. You make me sick. Norman this, Norman that. When all you care about is cold, hard cash. Jay, this is our chance to have a baby. Norman's baby. Now, I don't want to hear any more arguments about the damn bar. If you want a baby, sign the contract. I'm sorry, but no. I didn't sign her nasty little contract because it wasn't fair. All you had to do was give up the bar and Lee May would have supported Honey, it. stop. Norman wanted his child to have financial security. He would not want us signing that away to Lee May. Without Lee May's support, we might not have a baby to worry about. The ethics committee could still rule in our favour. Then we'd have security and baby. Jay, while you're obsessing about a hypothetical baby's college fund, we could be getting pregnant. But no, you have to play power games. This isn't about me or Lee May. This is about us. Yes, and you don't trust me to provide for any child we have. If you did, you'd say to hell with the bar. If you have faith in me. Hey. You working late? No, no, I was study. Tanya and But she said to say she'd be awake when you got home. Um, did you get things sorted out with you and Jay? No. Well, are you happy? No. Well, what stops you from moving on then? Love. Yeah, that. I thought things were good with you and Tanya. Yeah. Yep, yeah, she's she's fantastic. I don't really deserve it. Ain't that the truth? With your check record, I don't know how you've lasted this long. Oh, come on, don't go all sensitive on me. So, uh, what's the deal with you and Jay? Tonight, Lee May offered to support the AUT if Jay handed over her half of the bar, but Jay refused. Things are never straightforward with you dykes, are they? <laughs> so, what happens now? Do you honestly, honestly believe that Lee May would have stuck to that silly little contract she tried to make me sign? Yes, I do. She called your bluff, Jay, and I hate to say, but she was right about you. I am not after the money, Maya. I'm after the security. Which I can't provide. No, it's just, you've got your nursing. You see, I don't have a trade, but the bar is an income that I can make happen. In case we break up. And not right, you've covered every other eventuality. Knock, knock. Great. I was hoping you'd both be home. The magazine is hot off the press. You are officially the perfect dyke couple of the year. Ta-da! Congratulations! Magazine hits the stands today. 
photos of Maya came out beautifully. I don't suppose I could have a wee peek, could I? Thought you'd never ask. Oh, I thought it was going to be about Maya. Yeah, also about her and Jay as a couple. How their stories became one. Their struggles with families, career, wanting children. Oh, she is such a pretty girl. She's wonderful, your daughter. She is a credit to you. Oh, I don't know. I just muddled through, I think, as a parent. Regrets? Too many. I wish I'd known more. You know, had more time with the girls. Oh, perhaps you'll get your chance when you're a grandmother. If Maya and Jay are allowed to do this, are you me? Oh, perhaps. I just envy you and your chances. I love to have had kids. You want a children? Yeah, very much. Is that normal? <sighs> For gays, you mean? <laughs> Definitely. Well, some of us get a chance to have children before we come out, and sometimes it's all too difficult. In which case, we make great aunties. I'm sure you do. You don't want Maya and Jay to have kids. Call me old-fashioned, but I think a family is a mother and a father and children belonging to them directly, the blood. What about the family who adopted Hamish? Do you think they loved him any less because he wasn't blood? Wouldn't you love an adopted child as your own? Yes, of course I would. 